Coventry College was formed in 2017 is a merge of two colleges, Henley College Coventry and City College Coventry. It has a really broad range of provision, ranging from performing arts all the way through to engineering, science, business courses, childcare, sports. It has over 3,016 to 18 students that are school leavers, as well as 500 apprentices and HE higher education learners. So it's the largest general fair education college in the city and it serves over 9,000 learners in total. We've always been quite renowned for our engineering and plumbing and construction apprenticeships because we're the only college in the city that have those facilities. But we're really proud of some of our new apprenticeship standards that we're delivering as well, including our cyber apprenticeship, which is really exciting. So in particular, one of our apprentices who has worked with us in our sales team and then in our apprenticeship delivery team has just recently secured a job with Bowway Construction and she'll be managing other apprentices. So I think that's a really nice story of how we've nurtured and supported an apprentice who's now going to be doing the same with other apprentices. We are a city partner with 2021 so the City of Coulter is giving lots of opportunities to our learners to get involved, to become city hosts, to work on some of those events. It's just a really exciting place to study. This is one of the fastest growing young demographics in the country outside of London so it's, there's a real young people kind of vibe in the city which is great. The organisation is really focused around those future skills strategies that we want to deliver across a number of sectors particularly in the STEM sectors. We're really pleased that we are going to focus on plugging some of those shortages through an investment in staff through the revitalisation of the air in the capital investment that we are trying to secure from government. So we've got a really clear vision for the future which is all about excellence for the learners but also a real focus on career destinations and career pathways so trying to work backwards with the learners what career do they want to get into. We're really focused on the students and excellence in teaching and learning which is really important to us and wrapped around that really is this focus on growth being the only person in my family to even get GCSEs, I can see how the power of education is really transformative. Really progressed from being a PA that supports a vice principal to becoming a vice principal myself, which I think is quite a, an interesting story and hopefully inspires other young people to really get a career in further education because it's so rewarding. After I left school, I tried a load of different things. I've always been pretty hands-on and it wasn't until about a year ago that I decided to get into bricklaying. So we do written work and learn about different builds and then we go into the workshop and we do complex builds. If you're offered further learning, you should definitely take the chance because I wasted a little bit of time and I wish I got into it a bit sooner because getting paid to learn is, is fantastic. You ain't going to get much better than that. Uh, when my apprenticeship ends, I'm hoping to stay on with DPG decorators and work my way up through the company, hopefully be like contracts manager or something. Highlights of my apprenticeship was working away in like Boston and Grantham during the pandemic on the, the hospitals, making sure they were all safe and ready for coronavirus patients and stuff like that. When I left school, I didn't know about apprenticeships. I was never told about it. My employer contacted me saying, oh, do you want an apprenticeship? And I said, yeah, I took it when I could. The highlight is when you learn something new, you can actually apply it in the real world. It's not like it's being taught it for no reason. It can be used, which is good. We come in every Wednesday, so it's one day a week. And we come in, we have theory and also practical lessons, but we're learning about like, the heating systems and stuff that we can't really learn about on the job. So you haven't really been the best through school, you don't like sitting down at a desk, There's, there is jobs out there that you can go and get stuck in, learn something new and you're getting paid for it at the same time, so I'd, I'd recommend an apprenticeship definitely. After my apprenticeship I'll be a fully qualified gas engineer, the salary for that even after my apprenticeship is about 30 to 32 grand a year, so stick it to that, definitely. Practical lessons are good in the morning. At the moment, I'm currently going through like all my EPA stuff, so that's my important assessment. The teachers that we've had, they've, they've all known what they're doing. They're very helpful, they're always there trying to support you and get you through it and everything. After me, at first, when I first heard about a friendship, I wasn't quite unsure about it. Slightly on the spectrum for autism. I was a bit worried about going into it at first. But then I looked at the benefits of it. You're getting taught by people who've been in, in the trade for years and they know exactly what they're doing. And getting that first hand experience with them is humbling in most times. Apprenticeships is definitely something to go for. If I could go back I wouldn't hesitate, I'll just go straight for it. Myself and my team, we're the key first point of contact for employers approaching the college about working with regarding apprenticeship recruitment, any kind of employability programmes, traineeships. We are here basically every single step of the way. So from an employer's perspective, if they've identified that they have an apprenticeship opportunity in their organisation, if this is where myself or my team will make contact, we can go out and see them on the premises now, Covid restrictions are easing, and we can support them with preparing the vacancy, the actual job description, 
we can talk to them about funding that's available and then from a student's perspective we have two members of staff in our recruitment team that basically deal with all the applications that come through. We offer information advice and guidance, we can support them with CV writing, interview techniques because we're mindful ultimately they are applying for a job with training. One of the key messages that comes out from employers is they're looking for that work ethic and they're looking for the right attitude. If any apprentice has those two qualities then the employer will always say everything else we can teach them. As long as you've got the passion for that particular area that you're potentially going into and you can commit to that length of training, then an apprenticeship is absolutely the way forward. We're looking at electrification, obviously again mindful of the government's agenda for 2030 to have that, that green energy bill. So we're just exploring opportunities at the moment, switching some of our motor mechanical maintenance into electrification of vehicles. Even um, looking at apprenticeships to set up to maintain the charging posts. We have our next traineeship programme scheduled to start in September. So anybody that potentially doesn't meet the entry requirements for an apprenticeship, please contact us because a traineeship might be that pre-apprenticeship programme that just might help them get on. So I describe a traineeship, it's like a structured work trial. The trainees are in college, support is provided for English, maths and IT skills. They're in college, they're actually having that face-to-face -face learning with one of our dedicated tutors to do that. And then they go out into the workplace for a work experience opportunity really, a traineeship opportunity with that employer. And that's how we've described it to the employer, it's like a work trial. And fingers crossed, the dream is, that young, I'm going to say young person, because they're 16 to 18 year olds here at the college, they're on the traineeship. They're so impressed that they offer them either a permanent job opportunity, an apprenticeship, or potentially that young person realises this is what I want to do and then will apply for a study programme at the college. So anybody that's interested in applying for an apprenticeship, they can apply via the college website. Alternatively, if anybody's interested at all in applying for an apprenticeship, if they just want to email employers at coventrycollege.ac.uk, then we will pick it up and get in touch.